Merry Christmas everyone. It is that time of year and I don't know about you but my social calendar becomes nuts over Christmas and you have to go to barbecues, family events, Christmas parties and they always make you bring a plate. Now I don't know about you but it's hot where I live and I don't have time to sit there and cook something. So why not make these? These are my cheat rum balls. They are so easy, they're so simple. Your friends are going to be thinking you've been cooking for hours. Little do they know, you've been watching my channel and I've given you the most easiest recipe for Christmas of all time. These are my cheat rum balls. So here we go guys. What do you need? You need Christmas cake. Now, I'm using Lion's Christmas Cake. It's known here for its good quality fruit, but you can use any sort of Christmas cake you like. If you find that the cake doesn't have enough fruit in it, you want to add some more dried mixed fruit, go for it. You can add cranberries. You can add uh, zest of an orange. Whatever suits your fancy, guys. These are your rumbles. But once again, they are cheats rumbles, so don't push yourself too much here, folks. Crumble your cake until it's in good bite-sized chunks so that you can actually mince in some rum in a second. Now here comes the all-important part, the rum. Here in Australia, it is Bundaberg rum all the way. You essentially put as much rum as you like in there. Now give it a good, you know, drink. And then mince it all together so that the cake absorbs your liquid you can use bourbon, by the way, guys, and you can also use brandy. Whatever suits your fancy in the alcohol caper, but you do want to use a dark spirit. Now, once you've added enough, add a bit more because you really want to taste that rum and the flavor will mature if you're keeping these overnight, for example. You want to make sure that there's no liquid left. If there is, please drain it off. No one likes a soggy ball. Here comes the best part. How big do you like your balls? I like mine to be just under a golf ball size. You want to roll these so they're nice and firm and then roll them in some decorative batter. I've got some dark cocoa here that I'm using and I'm also using some uh, shredded coconut. You can use digestive biscuits that have all smashed up. I've seen that. I've also seen white chocolate that you can use uh, shaved or you can actually melt some white chocolate and make it look like it's icing on a plum pudding. You can add a red Jaffa or red M&M at top and use a green jelly candy, cut that into little wedges so they look like leaves so that you've got a holly sort of effect. Whatever takes your fancy guys, but once again, cheats rumbles, as much as you want to put in it, you can do it, or as little. Refrigerate overnight and make sure you at least take them out 10 minutes before you want to serve them so that the chill comes off because no one likes a cold ball. And there you have it. You can tell your friends that you've been slaving away in the kitchen for hours on end. They won't know that you've just used some cake. Hope you enjoyed them and thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe. Hit the button in the top corner.